Yeah. He's got his own. You guys say so you guys spoke about the Jew tunnels without me. We bro, did. We yeah. really bro, got into it briefly. I, think it I bet you were came. mad as hell when you saw the specs on those, huh? I'm never fitting in that tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been that. Those are the little Jews. Dude, when they pulled <laughs> that one Hasidim out and he's got the sideburns and he's Hasidim, got Hasidim, but I don't believe him. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's, that's Hesh from Sopranos. That's a, that's, <laughs> yeah, uh, baby. That's, a, that's a good episode. Um, it, it, it was like, man. There's got to be like Jewish public relations officer somewhere, the one who's in charge of all y'all, who's like, oh, fuck! We have we've spent a millennia trying to prove to the Gentiles that we don't live in underground tunnels like rodents and crawl out of them all under. This their, guy's under like in a, he's in like the head Jewish office on his phone talking to like a head Gentile. He's like, yeah, Stephen, we you wouldn't guess, but we love sports too. We love it. Hold on, my secretary Noah's coming in. I need to check on it. What's up, Noah? Is this urgent? Well, you're gonna hate this. <laughs> they, they found the tunnels. <laughs> so no, no, they didn't find the tunnels. <laughs> they didn't find the bloody them. mattresses and the strollers too, did they? Oh. I was getting to that. That it's a bad look. <laughs> looks like it looked like shitty blood, eh? That stain. What the like hell blood shit. Looks like a blood shit stain. I yeah, don't know. Come out. Well, that's why I'm mad that I wasn't here for the conversation because I don't know fucking anything about those tunnels. They were in the wrong place. We here's what we knew. We knew there were bloody mattresses and. Something like a high else. chair or something? Looked it like seemed to go from blood. a newsstand to a synagogue. And as far as I can tell, it just went like under a street. Like it didn't go very far. I heard some mm-hmm. things, but it's hard to go th- get through, like accurately get through what's real mm-hmm. and what are the guys. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to tell you guys like what I what I saw because I, I Googled it because people were like on Twitter. They're like, yo, yeah, Harley, you're one of the good ones. What's <laughs> up with the tunnels? <laughs> RSK, by the way. <laughs> and you're like, I don't care how cool I am. I'm not sharing the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like looking at these tunnels and reading about apparently they use the strollers as wheelbarrows to like make it. Le- and I'm like, nah, I don't know if that's what the strollers are f- for. But yeah. also like at the same time, like, I don't think by. I don't think the strollers <laughs> were to bring bring babies down there you know were they like stealing babies cutting off their foreskin and putting them back in the crib without anyone being the wiser we're just asking questions <laughs> I, listen, i'm just you know i i think also like human trafficking like when you're andrew tate and you have like three 20 year olds with you and you're like Shh, and you're walking with them people don't think anything this guy pulled up in a bugatti has got three girls they don't know that he is you know allegedly making them go on cam and do all that like, you know i don't think mm-hmm. there's like a an equivalent to that i don't think there's like rabbis with like like bringing hoes in to the tunnels and making them film cam stuff and and taking a cut of it or anything like that um so what what type of tomfoolery could they be getting up to down there well like what is it i think they're fucking each other i think it was innocent version something sinister the innocent version is and and it was the one that because i love your people i was quick to to like yeah maybe that they they said during covid times they wouldn't let us go to synagogue we weren't having that bullshit we go to synagogue if the lord wants to take us he will you know, and that, and I was like, you know what? That's some down south kind of shit. I can understand that. That's that's what mm-hmm. the preacher would have people doing. He's like, he'd have people go into the gas station, going underground, sneaking into the church of God, and do, getting baptized and shit. I can understand that. Mm. That that overzealous. I heard that too, but like that's like that they, came out. They quickly think COVID's coming like, back. Did, are they, are, so are they? Is that their way of telling us that like they're dropping a new COVID on us again? I hope not. Like they're. But I, I got. I read that same thing, Kyle. But then like within the same day. Mm. I heard more news people being like, fact check, uh, these the construction on these tunnels started seven months ago, well after the COVID lockdowns or something. Yeah, I heard that oh. it started after COVID also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's, that's what threw on. that off. Was the, that, them I, calling I it tunnels makes it seem like it's for like traveling somewhere else. Well, Maybe it shares, it, it, shares it seems the like, it's like an underground like hideout. There, well, there's a, there's a synagogue. And behind it is a Chabad house, the head, the HQ. And that's like a place like, uh, from what I understand, like we could, I could pull up there right now. Not you guys, by the way. Um, uh, well, let me see your penis. No, but I, I, I'm I, good. I, <laughs> I, I can get you in. I can get you in. Yeah. Did you forget it? Maybe I just show his and I'm like, wow, you're going to check all of us. Come on. These guys. Are good. Yeah. He's got his, uh, he's got his cock yarmulke. Okay. He's good. <laughs> I always wear it. Uh, but those, uh, they share a back. Like if I could go to one of those Chabad houses on a, a Shabbat, 
and uh, they'll have a goy for me to flip on and off the lights. Um, <laughs> but like, that's what you could do. And like, it's like a whole, it's like a thing. And they had during COVID, this is like the synagogue that didn't shut down. Like they weren't listening. And they had those videos of like a thousand, like uh, Hasidic Jewish people all chilling together and down doing the thing. Yeah. Yeah. This one, it shares a backyard. So underground, apparently there isn't much distance for the basements to touch. And they wanted to connect it. And they they connect it, and you look at it. These are all men without wives, like they haven't been married yet. So, like when you're done praying for ten hours, what are you what are you doing? What's going on down there? And it connects to like uh, this type of bath that, uh, like, let's say you are going to get married, like your your like your wife would take a bath in this bath. If you're super religious, you bathe in this bath like a, a couple times, and it was like an old one down there. And I'm just seeing, I'm sharing like like this poo poo blood on the mattress, uh, this bathhouse. This is some, just some gay sex going on down here. Like nah, they must be sucking each other off down I there. I feel like or something. gays would like, have sex in a cleaner place. Anti Semitic. Yeah, not not Hasidic gays. It's a whole different type of gay that we're like, we have no they, idea they how they move. Like through a hole in a sheet. Is that what I they don't, do? Man, <laughs> they got to go underground to God can't see. Because, like, see, that's the difference. Jesus is with you everywhere. Jewish, like he's up there. So if you go in deep enough, like he's not oh, gonna yeah. see. Dude, that is a it, hilarious part about Jewish law. Like if you look into it a bit, is the amount of it that is in the entire purpose is to get around their own rules. Where it's like <laughs> God says we can't use electricity and power, but God doesn't say that we can't pay the an Irish guy thirty dollars <laughs> to flip the lights for us and press the return button on the bowling machine in our synagogue to bring the balls back. Like. Uh, oh, we can't use lights, but we can have this guy light a candle it's, and then take the fire from that candle to light something else. Because we didn't initiate the creation crazy. of it. It's look, look, so the whole weird. idea of believing in God is its own thing. But but let's say you do. How dare you try to read, make him read the fine print of his fucking contract? You know what I mean? Like, like can you imagine getting mm -hmm. up there and him being like, Abraham? Dude, the you Jews your would lights on every, every. I was gonna every... say, like, God's fucked if he's going up against the Jews, like in contract I, law. Yeah, he's like, contract. like, imagine you were God and you made the Jew and you made people and they were the Jews and they were like, now you see, you found a couple moves here, a couple <laughs> loopholes, and you're like, oh, I can't believe I made the Jews. I should have. Yeah, son of God, I don't mean to be a bother, but if you'll turn to page six, section A, line four, explicitly states. That the Irish guy's allowed to do this for me. Like, that's, why, <laughs> that's why every country, the country is always like, what, what are these people doing? And it's like we've looked over everything in the country, and this is how we're going to min max and be completely efficient <laughs> on making money. Like we broke the game. And then like, get out of here. You're not. It's like, well, you change the rules. It's like, get out of here. We're not changing them. And then it's like, how could you? Obviously, everywhere they go, they're going to find the system and break it down. They've been doing this game with the Bible. For thousands of years, this is yeah. like they've been they've been finding the loopholes in the Torah. So, dude, calling Jews like the min maxing race is the most accurate description <laughs> of all time. Where they're like, all right, we minimize these parts of the law, we maximize this. We're gonna find a loophole around shellfish because I love oysters. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of you maneuver your way around it, and then I guess you can make a good enough argument. The other top Jews are like, all right, throw it in the book. Like we're the the, but if you were like making a build, like an RPG build of the character, and it's like as as a Jew, it's like uh, your uh, charisma and speechcraft is up plus four. Uh, <laughs> however, other races will not trust you at a glance. <laughs> so it's like there's like it's like the, every race has a build. I know y'all. Um, I've been I'm still following the Ukraine thing, but I'm afraid mm. to look at the Israeli thing. It's I know there's it's like I it's like a guy got beat up outside the bar. And he needed he needed Dude. a good ass whooping, and I go in to get my drink, like because because mine's mine's done, and I come back with a fresh beer, and I had to wait a few minutes, you know, because the bartender was being lazy, even though I dipped him, <laughs> and I get back outside with my Coronas, and they're still beating that guy, <laughs> mm -hmm. and That's I'm like, great. whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa you went and found this guy's kid too. And you're I wouldn't have waited up? for the lime if I'd known. What the fuck are you doing, guys? <laughs> Dude, it is ruthless. It's Jen. What they are doing. Yeah, yeah, it seems Germany that way. Germany and France disagree. Who are wow. you? Wow. Our lapdog countries agree <laughs> with us. That's crazy. I don't know. if I, I, Come on. You know Germany and France aren't, aren't our lapdog countries. They are, if they anything, are our little bitches. They do what we say.
Absolutely not. We've been begging them for years to pay their fair share and into into NATO and everything. They begged us not to fuck with the Nord Stream pipeline. Look, Oops. All I'm saying is that the Germans might that? have a different reason. Yeah, for <laughs> not. I don't believe that anymore. I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't. No, that is real shit with Palestine. It's. I, am, I love Kyle. I, I don't like scrolling. You're past. Still beating that guy. He learned yeah. his lesson three minutes ago. It's like these kids have nothing to do with what you're mad about. That yeah, that guy. Like what the fuck? This is insane. If any it, other country was doing this, the U.S. would be like, whoa. Yeah. Calm and down. Israel's like, well, in our defense, they're using him as human shields. There's nothing we could do. Yeah. What do you, what do, you do? And it's like Israel. Let's let, stop here for a second. Let's say they were using. Israelis as human shields. Would you change your tactics at all? No, because they are. There's Israelis in the over there held hostage. They never they stop bombing for like a day at a time to like swap and there's like a hundred hostages and twenty thousand killed. Those numbers don't add up. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. What, what ah, but each Israeli is worth a hundred thousand Palestinians. I guess so. <laughs> there's some math. people who believe that. That's, that's fucking people. crazy. Like it's, uh, it, it's well, it's, it is a lopsided beat Ruth down. Has. Uh, I don't know. Biden gives lip service to like, you know, we might stop supporting BB if he keeps all this genocide up. Yeah. I mean, hypothetically, we might stop. It's anyway, I'm off to uh, speak <laughs> at the annual APAC summit, by the <laughs> yeah, way. Right? Uh, but yeah, totally. We're going to. Yeah. OK. Whatever. You know what that sound is in the distance? That chugga, 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 chugga. That's the Trump train. It's a Trump train oh. coming. Because Oh, because dude, Trump the- is going to support the same stuff. Trump was so Trump pro attacked. Israel. Trump, Trump is unbelievably listen. pro Israel. Yeah. Trump hates the prime minister of Israel. His personal grudge outweighs any other like political thoughts. Dude, or all of like his that. big donors are Zionists. Did He's you see his do, immediate quote? Pro Israel. He was like, How did Bibi let this happen? What a terrible fail. <laughs> what a terrible who is, who is the biggest donor to, to Trump in 2016? I think it was Sheldon Adelson, who's like a hardcore Zionist, or the Koch brothers. There's only one brother remaining, I believe, but they were both hardcore Zionists. So like Brother Coke. Trump's Trump's gonna do what his funders want him to do, just like all these people. Counterpoint, <sighs> last term. Just throwing it out there. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's maybe he's not. Oh, I don't care what he does. It's about what he campaigns on. It, it, oh it, no, you're insane. You're you're crazy if you think he's not gonna campaign on on pro Israel stuff. Oh, uh, he doesn't no no no. So he has to, all he has to do is contrast himself and not be genocidal. All he has to do is that. He's like, oh, I wish they would, so many dead children. I wish they would be more exacting in getting the people that they wanted to get. And then he just mealy mouths away like he does. His That's biggest been my donors frustration. Be with that. I, I don't know if it works with other people. Like it, Trump's uh, ability to cast a spell doesn't work on me for some reason. So when I hear his Israel thing, all he's, all I've heard is, that would have never happened if I was president. I'm like, that's not a plan, and I don't even buy it. But even if it was true, what are you going to do when you take over? And and he doesn't say. Yeah, mm. he's going to continue to fund Israel the same way Biden is now. Like, yeah, I don't care about the after. I care there about won't be the a, presidency. There. Oh, I was just saying there won't be a difference in how he handles it. He will continue to you know give lip service Trump about will. how like oh this is despicable. Like, no, he won't even say that. They'll be like, these every single one of them are terrorists and we're taking care of them. Bibi Netanyahu, great guy. I've talked to him. He's a good guy. Like because he switches Maybe on that guy. shit. It doesn't matter. He switches on a dime with that shit. Right. It, it, Trump has shown friend versus enemy. He's very flexible on those issues. Right. Mm-hmm. It, Ted Cruz is a friend now. Lindsey Graham is a friend now. Whatever is yeah, he he's a he's a politician and a tactician in that way. As whatever back is, whatever is currently yet? beneficial to whatever Not he's yet. trying to achieve is going to be the direction he goes. I'm I'm more worried about winning the presidency. I don't care how he runs the country, um, uh, or how or, or for how long. <laughs> yes, yes. No, this is all. Yeah, of course. The, I'm focused on winning the presidency. That's what's in, that's what's on our table. You are talking about like like winning next year's Super Bowl? We haven't secured this one. All right, we're still in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. All right, this but we know a- who's not going to win, and that's similar to the American know, the people war in Palestine. DeSantis. Yeah, we know Palestine's not going to win this, and we know DeSantis and oh, well. you know whoever else is in that crop. DeSantis could get the nod, but I think Nikki Haley is going to be your vice presidential pick. Uh, she and sucks. I think okay, I think they win though. I, I think I still I still think Trump wins. I think he's going to keep kicking the, the the ball down the field with his uh, trial shit 
until he can pardon himself. And that's going to be that on all of that. And, and frankly, it's going to be funny when he does it. And all those people is, Oh, this is a miscarriage of justice and seeing it. I, I can't wait for the pollsters to, to have that, that, that thing where they finally realize, yeah, he's, he's projected to win the presidency. I want to hear him say it. I want to hear him call him president again. He was I projected to win 2020 up until like midnight that night. That's part of his beef, I believe. He believes the fix is in. I don't think that's true. Uh, so I looked at 538 all the time, and it really got it pretty accurately in the end. Mm. 